Read Me a Story. Brought to you by Six Seven Studio and Northern Green School. It takes two to tweet two. By Paul and Knight and Gillian O'Ferry. Olive Owl could only say tweet, tweet, tweet. She went. She couldn't say two. She dearly wished to meet another owl who could hoot two, so that they could tweet and two together. Olive perched high up in the tree and called out, "Tweet, tweet." She listened carefully with her pointy ears. Ribbit, ribbit, came the reply. "Who's there?" Olive said. "I don't suppose Ribbit will do," asked the frog. "No, Ribbit will never do," said Olive. She really needed a tool to go with a tweet. Tweet, 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 called Olive, trying again. Her pointy ears were pricked, listening carefully. Quack, 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 came the reply. Who's there? Olive said. The duck asked. I'm sorry," said Olive sadly. She was hoping for a tool. This time, Olive shouted, "Tweet!" a bit louder, hoping that somewhere, someone with a lovely tool might hear her. Urgh, urgh, came the reply. "Who's there?" called Olive. "I don't suppose a girl will do." Asked the great big grizzly bear. Olive sighed. No, not at all. I'm afraid. What she really wanted was a hooty tooty tool. Tweet 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 tweet. This time, Olive carried on tweeting over and over again, hoping that her dream owl would surely hear her. Anyone there? She called out. Before long, new friends surrounded Olive. Everyone had her tweets and had come to find out what all the fuss was about. Everyone that was apart from Albert. Albert lived far away in another tree, in another wood, over the hill. Two, two, he tooted, but nobody could hear him. What Albert wanted more than ever was a tweet to go with his tool. Somewhere in the distance, he thought he could hear a terrible din of quacking, winking, growling, croaking, hissing, meowing, buzzing, squeaking, and woofing, and the odd hee-haw, hee-haw. Olive looked down at the duck. The cat, the donkey, the frog, the dog, the snake, the bee, the pig, the mouse, and the great big grizzly bear. What will you do if you can't find a tool? They ask. I don't know. Please, can you help me? Said Olive. So together they all took a huge deep breath. <sighs> tweet, tweet, tweet! They shouted at the tops of their voices. All. They hushed and listened for a reply. Sure enough, from far away, wood over the hill, someone had heard them. Two. Two, two, hooted Albert, hardly able to believe that he was hearing. Tweet, tweet, there it was again. Albert was excited and set off to the direction of the tweet, calling, two, two, as he flew. Woohoo! 
I heard it. I really heard it," said Olive. Her feathers all a flutter. Albert landed on the tree right next to her. They had found each other at last. Tool, he said. Tweet, said Olive. Rrr, said the great big grizzly bear. That's the wrong way round. Tweet tool, said Olive and Albert, one after the other. The animals cheered. Olive and Albert continued tweeting and tooing together until dawn, when they snuggled up for a well-earned sleep. Many people hear tweet tool and don't realize that it takes two owls to make a sound. The female calls tweet, and the male answers with tool. Tawny owls build their nests in holes in trees. They can only see as well as we do at night, but they use their extra sensitive ears to hunt for food. Once a couple, tawny owls usually stay together for life.